Hey, hey, this is Mailbag 28-ish, and it's a relatively small one. Uh, it's an order from Newart, which means I paid through the teeth for this one, but, eh, and this one's going to be kind of cute. But, let's just open up these other ones first. Uh, sadly, I didn't take a hard look at where stuff was coming from. So some of this is out of the UK, let's just get the invoice out of the way. So one package, total of four chips. These are the da, 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 CD4077BEs. Let me open it up. That's probably not going to work too well. Can't tell if you can see that. But these are exclusive Norgates. I picked up some from AliExpress a little while ago. And what I want to do is compare them against um, a reputable manufacturer. I, there's the description of them and what I paid for them and I forgot to, oh, $1.52 a piece, so they're not cheap. Get rid of that one. And again, huge package, total volume, almost nothing. Now, Package in a package and paperwork. So does that count as two packages? Yeah, probably not. And this one. Ooh. Okay, might as well open it up. Uh, socks. Let's see. Okay, let me get these out of here. Okay, here's one of them. Not that it's going to help much. Um, it's a SOIC 14 pin quad 2 input NAN. Uh, CD4093 and same idea I picked up some of these on Alley and now I want to pick up some real ones or some other ones and then try them out and see uh, if there's any difference and in this case okay the data sheets going up there I paid something for them forgot to write it down so it'll be up there and i picked up 10 of them uh, but i hate this when i get a uh, big package and there's only one item in each now next the bigger one and this is going to be a bit of a surprise because when i was looking for a certain meter I checked all around and I took a look at Ali I looked at uh, Amazon eBay and one of the better prices was Newark okay move this to the side paperwork So, we got capacitors, we have meter, and I'm just going to take this off for a second. Okay, this meter here, uh, Lumino meter, light meter, MP780118, 
picked it up from Newark and it was $20.39. Now, of course, there's going to be a shipping with Newark uh, unless you're buying over $200 worth of stuff. That's why I combine it with other items. Whew, it even comes with the batteries. That's getting rare. Let's see. Okay. Let's slap them in here. Okay, these are 1.5 volt. Which is a bit of a pain because when you're using, if you use rechargeable batteries, uh, they don't last long because they don't put out as many volts. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Didn't have a meltdown, so... And let's turn it on. Amazingly, it's reading zero with the cap on. So, let's set this so you can see it. Take the cap off. And my bench is at 642, roughly. Yeah, a bit higher over here, since there's a light up there, and a light directly up there. And towards my... Towards me, 542. What I'm going to do is, with this, is I bought some um, Lux chips, which uh, I haven't used yet. Because, of course, how do I calibrate them? How do I know what the actual number is? Also, I had a previous video where I picked up some, let me remember what they're called. I'm repeating myself, but I picked up uh, at an auction a while back some pyranometers. And, of course, I have no way to calibrate those either. And I'm going to eventually use them for my own little weather station, light station, etc. And for this, the specific other specific reason I got it was I've always wondered when you modify an LED light and you change the amount of current going in, what proportion does it actually drop the lux? So now I've got a way to test it. So there will be another video on this thing um, in a little while. Yeah. And as I said, I could not believe that it was actually cheaper uh, to buy this from Newark than it was to buy it on pretty well all the other platforms. Now, capacitors. And I'm going to look up the project that these are for. Uh, most of these capacitors are for this project. Um, I've had this for almost ever, and it's actually a tube operated. There you see, tubes. <coughs> Signal generator. Uh, this thing's in really bad shape. Uh, originally, I wasn't going to even try anything on it, but then I thought, eh, maybe I'll try. So... Some capacitors. Uh, all of this type of stuff requires high voltage caps. So here we have 20 microfarad 400 volt. And I'll put the price and spec sheets up in the corners. Uh, 20 uh, microfarad, 450 volt.
40 microfarad, 450 volt. And last but not least, 47 microfarad, 400 volt. And these things were pricey. So this thing better be worth it. And as I said, this is in really bad shape. If not, I might even just try to figure out something else I can do with it. So that's it for this video. There will be another video coming up fairly quickly, I hope, for the meter. Um, I've also got another meter, like this idea, on order from AliExpress. And I'll then uh, compare the two of them. So that's about it. Okay, that's not all it. Bonus material. And the bonus material has absolutely nothing to do with electronics. Okay. This is more for doing some optical stuff. Figured I'd get myself a crystal ball that's absolutely clear. And this is starting to look bad because it doesn't look like everything was in the package. So, I just picked up this to do some optics. And now, at some point, I want to do some stuff with some large ball bearings. And I haven't got a clue where the other part of the package is. Uh, because there was supposed to be another set of smaller ones. Oh well. Oh, the price for this is there. And the price for these is there. And not everything came in the package. 